So thanks for being patient with me being a little bit late to stream today because this is the shit that I have to deal with, all right? So, <clears throat> and this is 100% my bad and I have feelings uh, about it. Um, but you guys know when, like I had, I, I adopted Astro a couple of years before I moved to America. And at the time when I moved to America, like I was like, oh, it's okay because hi, Rack, hi, Gwyn. Um, I thought, like, I thought it was okay because like my parents were totally willing to look after Astro and all this stuff. But then I was thinking like, but what if it was my actual child? Would I still have gone to America? And the truth is, I don't know. And I can't really, I can't really do the what if game because um, let's be real, that is not healthy. Um, because I, I don't know if it would have been an entirely different situation. I don't know how I would have felt. I don't know. I don't know. Right? I am. Thanks, Brendy. Um, and uh, Astro in the time that I was away, um, like he wasn't happy in my new apartment anyway. He didn't have the backyard. He wasn't, he just wasn't settling in, in my new place before I moved to America. We were living um, alone. I had moved out for a little bit and he just was not settling in there at all. Um, so I thought it would be better for him to go, to come back to this house with my parents while I was moving to America. In the time that I moved to America, um, Astro had been spoiled rotten by his grandfather who gave him many a treat at many a time. Um, and so since then, Astro has become 100% spirit bonded to my dad. Um, I think generally he has more of an affinity with um, men than women anyway. I don't know. I, you know how like some dogs are just, they, they just do that. Like some, some just um, become more close with, with the woman in the household than the man or the man or not the woman and whatever. Um, and I think Astro is one of those doges that prefers men um, in terms of, like, companionship because, like, especially when Arthur came, like, every time Arthur comes to visit, like, Astro will not have anyone else. Like, he's Arthur's dog immediately, even though, like, he hardly, <laughs> he hardly ever visits. Like I've been with Arthur for like four years. He's visited what, like two, three times. <laughs> and this dog will literally not leave him alone. Um, every time he comes to visit, he just absolutely adores him, loves him so much. Um, so anyway, ever since quarantine, when um, obviously like dad's been around all the time Astro's like super duper like in love with my dad 100% soulmates like literally so when when I was when I was a, a tiny little a little toddler um I would I was essentially Astro like I would follow my dad around everywhere and if my dad went to the toilet I would like sit in front of the toilet door like waiting for him to come out because I was such a daddy's girl and like shit like that. And now Astro does that with my dad. <laughs> so he like traded me out with Astro and like my dad will like go, he'll be like sitting in his office and Astro is sitting in his bed in dad's office. And then dad will get up to like go to the kitchen and Astro will get up and like follow him into the kitchen and stare at him the entire time. And then dad will go to the bathroom and Astro will follow him to the bathroom and then sit out the front of the bathroom waiting forever. Um, and so now we are in this position where it's becoming really difficult for on the days when I have to walk Astro in the morning, take him for his morning walk because my dad can't like I'm and, and I have to go out and walk too. I, I originally wanted to adopt Astro because A, I really needed a companion um, since I lost my previous dog. I really, really just needed that so badly. 
And I also wanted an excuse to like get out and go for walks with my little pupper and stuff. Um, but now I can't do that anymore because the only person that Astro wants to walk him is my dad. And so now on the days where my dad can't take him and I have to take him for his morning walk, um, if my dad is still at home and Astro knows that dad's at home, he will not let me walk him. Like he'll get excited and be like, yeah, we're going for a walk, we're going for a walk, yeah. And then he'll go outside, drag me to the park across the road, sit there for 15 minutes, realise that dad hasn't come out with us and then drag me back home Like we have to open the door, go inside the house and then he'll take me to dad's office and just sit in the doorway and like stare at my dad while he's on the lead and I have my mask on and my sunglasses and my jacket and my fucking track pants and like everything, like I'm full fucking kitted out for this walk and he'll literally drag me back into the house and just like sit in front of the, in the door of my dad's office. That's what he does. And then I have to like coerce him to like go for the walk and it takes forever. It takes forever. And so this morning, the same thing happened. Like I was like, we're going for a walk. Yeah, let's go. Um, And the same thing happened. He took me to the park. We did like a loop of the park and then he came back to the house. But as we came back to the house, my parents were like just at the door getting ready to like literally leave to go get a blood test. Um, But Astro thought that they were coming with us, I think, because they were getting ready to leave. So we were like standing in the door. I'm there in my full fucking going for walks, get up. And and my parents are getting ready to go out. (laughs) And he's just like, yeah, let's go. And then my parents leave, close the door, get in the car and drive off. And then I open the door to like try to actually take him for a walk this time. And this is what happened. I took him out and he was like, Dad's gone. Dad's car's gone. Where's dad's car? Where's dad? Where's dad? No, where did he go? Where is he? And like literally, like this is my dog trying to find where the fuck my dad went. Because he was like, no, we we were going to go, we were going to go for a walk. And now, and now he's, he's gone. Where is he? Where did, where did he go? I must find him. I must find the car. Sniff, 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 sniff. Where is, where is car? Where is the, the car's gone. Where the fuck? Where the fuck is the car? Where did it go? Like literally. Like what? (laughs) So this is what makes me late every morning because the doge the doge be doing that. Um, the masks turned out okay, but they were too small. So I have to remake them in a bigger size and I'm dreading it because it's just so, it's so tedious and it takes so much time and stuff, but hey, angry. Uh, yeah. And, um, that's, that's my life with my doge currently. He is just determined that the only person to take him is my father. So, 